Hello. I've come to look after this wildlife centre while the usual person's away. Oh, by the way, my name's Jane Miles. Oh, this one's for me. I wonder. I hope this is it. Our Dartmoor Holiday by Debbie West and Kieran Singh. It's from Debbie and Kieran. They were here on a farm holiday last spring. Didn't they have some adventures? Leave the town behind the traffic in the street. On the moor you'll find there's ground beneath your child there's always something new for you to see look at that what gray nothing there that's what i mean deb real country this is it's just like the wild west you must be joking mate no crowds no people no chip shops no space invaders, nothing. Just grass and sheep. Just grass and stuff. Well, I think we're dead lucky getting picked for this farm holiday. Just Kieran and Debbie out of the whole school. Great, hey? I bet we have some adventures here. What do you think? <laughs> the bus stopped at the top of the hill. Here you are, you two. Out you get. Are you sure, mister? I mean, there's nothing here. The nearest we go to Homeridge Farm. Dare say someone will be along to collect you. They'd better be. So there they were, feeling a bit lost, just standing and waiting. This is like the middle of nowhere. This isn't funny, Kieran. I'm getting really hungry. I mean, what if no one comes for us? Listen. At last, a Land Rover came along. Pulled up by the bus stop. Hello, kids. Hello, you two. Sorry we're late. You must be Debbie and Kieran, right? That's right. Hop in. I'm Mrs. Rudge. I'm Mick. Hey, look at her hair. She's got a stripe down the middle, like a little badger. Hello, badger girl. Oh, it's a badger with bubble gum now. What next? You don't want to take any notice of Mick. He's always joking. Come on, then. Get in. All right. Mind your fingers. Look over there. That 
that woman's called Jane Miles. She's a wildlife photographer. She's promised to help you with your projects, show you how to take photos and all that. You all have to do projects, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to do one about animals. What about you, Debbie? I don't know yet. Badger Girl only likes chip shops and space invaders. Oh, you'll find something, I'm sure. Here we are then, Home Ridge Farm. There was another boy staying at the farm. His name was Norman. Started already, Norman? I know what's what, Mrs. Rudge. Norman's been here a week already, so we can show you around after tea. These are the London children, Norman, Kieran, and Debbie. <laughs> but you can call her Badger Girl. Badger Girl? Mm. Oh, I see. Good cakes, these Badger Girls. I've had five already. Mine's like burst angels. Well, this won't do. I can't sit about here dreaming all day. Goodness, this looks interesting. Some sort of computer. Um. Oh. Uh. Good heavens. Who are you? Wordy, at your service. Who are you? Jane Miles, wildlife photographer. I'm looking after the centre. Ha-ha, <laughs> well, you've come to the right person if you want help. What's that folder? Something about wildlife? Oh, yes, it's about Badger Girl. I mean, it's about Debbie. And Kieran. Eh? It's their project folder from school. Oh, and it's stop, about... Stop, stop. Tell me the story properly. Well, I just don't know where to start. Well, why don't you stand still for a moment and type in S and T on the keyboard? S and T? Oh, all right. Um, S. When you want to start a story, S and T are very good. Look. Stop, stop, stop with S and T. If you ever get stuck, 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 and you want to start, start, start with S and T, S and T, you can start again. If the bus won't stop, 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 or your boat gets stuck, stuck, stuck with S and T, S and T, you can start again. We're S and T, together at the start, we stick together so we never come apart. We're S and T, to the rescue every time. If you want to stay, 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 we will never go away. Way, way, we're S and T, S and T, hip, hip, hooray for S and T. Good old S and T to the rescue. I'll just start at the beginning. Ooh. Who are those people? That's Debbie and that's Kieran. They're friends. They go to the same school in London. Oh. And that's Norman. He's their friend, but I don't think they thought he would be at the beginning. And that's Homeridge Farm, where they all stayed, with Mick and Mrs Rudge. Let's see what Debbie wrote about it. Dartmoor was the first bit of real country I had ever seen. It was like the middle of nowhere. I had no idea what it'd be like on a farm. That's right. I don't think Debbie had ever seen a sheep or a goat before she came to Dartmoor. Mind you, Jane, you don't have to go to the country to see a farm, you know. There are plenty of sheep and goats in the city, if you know where to find them. Pick up that cassette and I'll show you. This one here? It says City Farm. Aha, uh -huh, that's the one. The middle of a busy city is the last place you'd expect to find a farm, but these children have. It's the Vauxhall City Farm in London. Quite a few big cities have one. Visiting a city farm isn't just a case of watching the animals. <laughs> they need looking after. Do you want to bring your bones in there? Come and bring your bones in. Um, would you like to 
come and help me milk the goat? Come on then, I'll show you what to do. To get hold of her teeth like this, put your thumb and finger across and then squeeze. Can you do that? Yeah. You have a go. That's it. There they are. After the hard work, there's a treat. Fancy all those farm animals right in the middle of London. You don't have to come to the country like Debbie and Kieran to do a farm project. You do need to know some special words, though. What sort of special words? All the words for farm animals, like goat and sheep. And the words for farm buildings and machinery, like barn and tractor. Well, I know all those words. What's so special about them? Well, they're all special to farms. You don't usually get sheep and barns anywhere except on a farm. Look, why don't you try this game on the computer? Every time you see a farm word, just press F for farm and put it into the field. If it isn't a farm word, <laughs> you'll soon find out. OK. Come on, then, word watchers. Let's round them up. Chicken, yes. That's a farm word. Mm, what's next now? Lamb. Yes, that's a special farm word. And now... Spaceman. Now, oh, anybody knows spaceman's not a special farm word. This is really easy. Tractor. Oh, oh no, missed it. I must concentrate. Uh, Parrot, yes. Uh, oh, dear. No, it's not a special farm animal. Um, pig, yes. Yes, that's a farm animal. Time's up, time's up. Oh, how did I do? Better luck next, Tim. Who's Tim? Oh, poo, silly old computer. The magic key's gone wrong again. Press the key, Jane. This one here? Yes. You need me, I'm Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. A strip gets a stripe with me, a pip makes a pipe with me. Here, what you do with me, add Magic, Magic E. Magic, Magic E. Words change around with me. When they are found with me, hear how they sound with me. I'm Magic Magic E, Magic Magic E. A pin makes a pine with me, twin becomes twine with me. Hear what you do with me, add Magic Magic E, Magic Magic E. Words change around with me. When they are found with me, Hear how they sound with me, I'm Magic Magic E. Magic Magic E. What a useful letter. Now I must get on with opening up the centre. I'd like to know what else happened to the children. You've only told me the beginning. There's a book all about it over here. Um... Oops. Oh dear, Jane. You seem to be trouble with a big T. Ah. <sighs> Here it is. Will you read it? I know what's what about farms. I've got four books on the country and I've read them all. First thing you've got to remember is the country code. You must always shut gates behind you. I read that in my farm book. OK, Norman. Norman knows what's what. I do. One of our jobs is feeding the chickens. I'll show you what to do. Norman knows what's what. He read it in his chicken book. Are you making fun of me? No, no Norman. Good. 
these are called goats. Amazing. Did you know you can get milk from a goat as well as a cow? Specty read it in his goat book. Hey, Norman, did you shut the chicken's gate? Oh, Norman. <laughs> up on the moor to see the wild ponies. All right, then. Off here. There you are. Hey, great. Wild ponies. Like the Wild West. I bet I could ride that little one. Bet you couldn't. Yahoo! Ride them, cowboy! <laughs> hey, you can't ride these. These are wild ponies, not tame. <laughs> Oh, I can see you kids are going to be trouble with a big T. Sorry, Mick. You've got to be quiet and gentle with them. Ah, uh, see? That's it, sunshine. There's a good girl. You like the ponies, don't you, Mick? I do. And they like me, too. I can do anything with ponies. There's a good girl. They sat by the fire after supper. Mrs. Raj, can I play my tapes? Afraid we haven't got a hi-fi, Debbie. Tell his boss to... What a place. What'd you do at night, then? Go out? Oh, well, people round here don't go out much at night. Because of the beast. Mm. What beast? The beast of Dartmoor. He's like a dog. It's as big as a lion. Yeah, it kills sheep. Some say it's a wolf. Mm. Mm. Now, don't you go believe in them. It's just the story. We don't believe a word of it, do we, Kieran? Uh, no, of course not. Come on. Get yourselves ready for bed. <laughs> Kieran, you'll be upstairs with Norman. And Debbie, you'll be over here in this little bed. I hope you all sleep well. You'll be up early tomorrow. They all went to bed right away. Debbie was so tired that she went straight to sleep. <laughs> Suddenly, she woke up. Something was snuffling and scratching around outside. The beast. She crept out of bed and tiptoed to the door. Thank you. 